there is a difference between the coverage in terms of pre-Modi and now that Modi is here. There's a difference in the sense, we were of course the slumdog millionaires, as you mentioned, we are the slumdog millionaire people, we are exotic, we are uncivilized, we are uh, poor, we are corrupt, we are, you know, it is everything is dirty. If you remember the kind of coverage, the British media in particular was uh, doing uh, around the time of uh, the Commonwealth Games. And it was horrible coverage, but we were harmless. Okay, now the change that has taken place is that now we are being portrayed as being harmful. We are apparently, I mean, uh, standing right on the precipice of having a genocide. Just imagine that a country like India, where we are talking about, say, 1.3 billion people, out of which maybe the Muslim community is around 40, 14%, 15%, or 20%, think in terms of numerically what that number is. You know, is it possible for any country to commit a, commit a genocide? But that is the narrative that is being spun. The Western press has always had a problem with Mr. Modi. One of the reasons why is of course that Gujarat, we all know what happened in Gujarat, but the fact that uh, he got a clean chit from right up to the Supreme Court that they could not pin anything on him. And there were a lot of nonsense was said, but the fact is that they have a problem with that. A lot of that has come from inside our own country. We know that. When it comes to the Western media, they were bearing with us because we were being ruled by people like them. You know, I mean, left, liberal, Western, educated. I mean, but what has happened in India in 2014, there has been more democratization of power, if I can say it that way. I mean, power has actually gone to the people beyond a certain family, beyond, a, you know, a set of family, beyond this Oxford educated, beyond the Harvard educated. These are people who have come from the grassroots. If you, so you see, I, 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 so, so this is a huge change. So what has happened is that, and along with that, what is hurting their sensibilities is that, that these people are openly, I mean, they're not apologetic about their religious identity. Now, the minute that is happening, now they are getting bracketed as Hindu nationalist. Mm -hmm.